hundred beans. They only heard hundred beans because the mic was turned off. I'll do it again. Two hundred beans. Was that better? It starts right on script. Sarah didn't turn her light on. She's not in the middle. There we go. Oh, I messed everything up. I didn't know that my light was off. We are rocking our OG Fitz Yo. <laughs> <laughs> when Hello. we when we first started streaming for the for the Friday Bean, Mark always had his flat bill hat on, which he's got too much hair now, so I had to braid it back into a cute little cute little braid for him so he could wear it. I always had a little slouchy beanie hanging off the back of my head. I almost always had a flannel on or a, a plaid shirt for our UK people who say flannels or wash wash rags. Here in Ohio, we call them war shrags. Um, but guys, happy Friday. We're not teaching probably a whole lot of anything today. We're just having fun. We're going to be looking back on some key moments throughout the Friday Bean. And I, what I really would love to do is resurrect some lore. Did you guys know we have lore? Smarkla is lore. We, we have lore. We have a lot of lore. So we're going to have a lot of fun today. And I think I have not set up anything for a giveaway, but I want to give away some of our Friday Bean embroidered uh, t-shirts towards the end. Remind me, God, don't let me forget about t-shirts. We'll probably just do a random giveaway from the chat and I'll give you guys information on how to do that <laughs> later. But before that, let's look at this poll. We had a poll. Have you guys voted in the poll? You've got like two seconds to do that. Look for the blue thing at the top of the chat. What was the Friday Bean originally called? Because, spoiler alert, this is the 200th Bean, but it didn't start as the Bean. We've had 200 Beans, but before the Bean, <clears throat> we actually still did live streams for two years. Two years, I think, we were streaming before we rebranded it to I the Friday I Bean. I can't remember. Yeah, so the options are the Friday Coffee Meet, the Friday Q&A, uh, Tech Friday or Etsy Friday. So poll has ended. Let's see our percentages. So 45% of you said Friday coffee meet. That is incorrect. Uh, we we rebranded with coffee being the theme because we always had coffee on our desks. And I wasn't, I thought that the Friday bean would gain us more like authority. If someone searches for the Friday bean, we're the only thing that would come up because that was our brand. Um, Friday Q&A, that's actually what our stream was called before the Friday bean, but it's not the original name of our streams. Uh, Etsy Friday <laughs> is 10%. We have never had an Etsy Friday. It was actually called Tech Friday. It was called Tech Friday. Most of you got it wrong. Yes. Seven, <laughs> only 7% of you said Tech Friday. If anybody has been watching since Tech Friday, that's really funny because those videos only, I know. Even, even to this day, they only have like 500 views. Because... I know. It's it's phenomenal. They're terrible. Oh, don't worry. They'll get to see them. They'll get to see them. They'll get to see them today. And, and we're going to laugh with you. Um, if you haven't went and got yourself like a drink, um, this would be a good time uh it you know go pee because you might pee yourself because it's going to be funny um all right this is the moment where we're testing a feature that i've not actually used on this stream before being able to play desktop audio through our interface so what i'm going to do is i am going to pull up this stream on my phone describing because we're going to go quiet for a minute mm. i am going to switch to the video of this stream currently playing to be the output of audio. So if you And hear, I'm gonna see if it comes out, because I'm gonna pull it up and test so I don't have to wait for people to tell me. Okay. So there's gonna be like 30 seconds where we're sitting here doing nothing, just waiting for audio to come out. So would you say that it is Tech Friday? I think is it, it is Tech Friday. Are we testing tech? So live? what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I there's no audio coming out, but now I'm gonna mute our mic. lore so we're gonna have a lot of fun today and i think i have not set up anything for a giveaway but i want to give away some of our friday bean embroidered uh t-shirts towards the end remind me god don't let me forget about t-shirts we'll probably just do a random giveaway from the chat and i'll give you guys information on how to do that <laughs> later but before that let's look at okay it worked so that's working so all i have to do is bring the audio up good to go Okay, thank you for testing with us. We appreciate it. Thank you for testing. Now we never have to test that again. That was the one and only time. 
There is no way to test that out of a stream, unfortunately. All right, chat is up. So we are good whenever you are. Do you want to start now or do you have other things to refer to? No, no, I don't have anything. Did Starla, Did Starla say, say she, she peed? Uh, no, I, I read a comment of someone saying that they've already peed. <laughs> right when I started the audio coming through, it's like, I peed. I peed. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see, Starla dancing to real music this time. We actually couldn't hear it. So no, I we wasn't. were just goofing. I'm never actually dancing to real. There is, anytime you see me dancing in a video, I'm never actually dancing to music it's always dead silent anytime we do cue the funky lo-fi beat i hear no lo-fi beat i'm just like this one goes in your right ear this one goes red on goes in right red goes in right and then it goes up and over your ear red red right right red and we can hear it this time okay. without having to be up each other's butts i'm oh. actually only going to do one ear however that way i can still hear myself talk i believe that there might be a few questionable um not necessarily wordy dirts from the past, but a few questionable topics. Yeah, Nothing... so just be aware we weren't always as PC as we are now. Oh, I didn't put anything too bad, but there were a couple things that were really funny. So, okay, what we're going to be doing is yesterday I went through as... I'm going to hold this for a minute. I went through as many clips as I possibly could yesterday. I'll do it for you since you don't know how to use that. No, I'm, I'm going to. I'm oh, go okay. Um, I went through as many clips as I possibly could yesterday, and I'm sure I missed some good moments. I almost was going to request you guys to do it, but then I'm like, do I really want to make them find clips for me just because, you know, I waited till the last minute to find them? No, I just went through and found as many funny clips as I could from the past. Um, some of them are going to bring back some major memories, but really what I want to show you guys is the growth and the slow or slow progression of change. Because for those of you who haven't been around for very long, it's very easy to see things like the quality of our content and how I how we present and even how I speak now and think, you know, wow, you know, I hear it all the time, like, I'm such an introvert. I could never, I could never get on camera like you. I could never Bro, so is she. <laughs> but I am a huge introvert and I have turned into this through time and practice. And I think that we set very unrealistic expectations <laughs> for ourselves when it comes to um, how the evolution of our characters really works. So there's no particular order to these clips and many of them I have purposefully cut in a way that completely lacks context because it's funnier that way. Um, so we will pause frequently so that Mark can react and try to figure out what the context of some of these was. Also, just for your information, I do have ducking set up on the compressor here. So if you talk, it will completely cut out what they're hearing. Oh, what if that I way, laugh? That way it doesn't, that's fine. They'll be laughing too. Otherwise it will just clip the output and be super duper duper loud. Okay. I, don't, I don't have it set to duck super hard. If it ends up sounding really weird while you guys are listening, please let me know. I, I actually am not figuring out how to put this in my ear. Am I using my the right one? Right? Right, Red? Tell me. It, it goes. It goes like like this? Yes. Like like that. Like this. Yes. Like this. And then up and over your ear. And then up and over my ear. There you Look go. Look at that. Look how big that ear is. Did you guys know that my right ear is significantly larger? Quack. You can't even see my left ear and my right ear sticks out super far. Did you guys know that? That's some Starla lore. That's some, star that's some Starla lore, some Starla birth lore. <laughs> my, my ear has always been weird. Okay. He's getting it all set up. So exciting. All right. I'm really, I'm really curious to see how many of you guys recognize some of this content. I didn't hear anything. And you didn't because I turned it off because I knew I would have to pause it and send it back to the beginning. God. Because I'm a professional. He's a professional. He's a professional. Every... Okay. Are you ready? No. <laughs> I'm not. It's awful. Okay, put us in. <laughs> awful. Don't even start it yet. Guys, look at my hair. <laughs> it's purple and blue. That's the worst hair color. It no, was... I thought it was awesome. It was so hard to maintain in terms of like maintenance. Star lore. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> I suppose. Okay, first clip I have to... Starla, is that you? That's a cool paper clip. That is a cool paper clip. Just saying. <laughs> going, going back to your ex is like trying to put poop back in your butt. Don't do it. 
All right. <laughs> what? You never heard that before? No, I have not, and I didn't want to. <laughs> Thank you for that. You never heard that before? It's like trying to put poop back in your butt. Is that what you just said? Yeah, going back to your. That's ex an awful way to end a stream. Purple. <laughs> Pretty. About the I world. didn't get much sleep, dang it. What are you doing? <laughs> Here, use this. It's safer. Well, let's start with the business card. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Can you see it? Hopefully you can. Look at that. Someone said, Mark has a baby face. I, I look exactly the same. No, you don't. I look exactly the same under the facial hair. Identical. I would look exactly, probably just a little fatter, but I would look exactly the same as this if I were to shave my face. So since since most of these clips are going to be me embarrassing myself, let's share a, an embarrassing fact about um, that one time that you shaved your beard off because you hadn't seen yourself without oh, a beard yeah. since the military. I was like fat as a hog. <laughs> oh, no. And Don't say it like that. You know that. what? I have self-awareness and I know who I am. I'm I am cool to admit that I was fat. Uh, it's okay. I had just gotten out of the military. I learned what food was good, you know. Uh, was completely free to not have to run a mile and a half every week, you know. He shaved his beard off for Taylor's well, dance. I goofed up, and I was trim. I actually was trimming and screwed up, and decided instead of trying to fix it, I would just completely shave my face, and I looked like Paul Blart. <laughs> If he was twice as heavy as he was, for I just retain oh, no. fat in my face real bad because I've got it's those because, jeans. So I get, I get. I, I was talking about this the other day. I get Santa cheeks. I get the, I get the red cheeks up here, and then I get a goobler gobbler double neck that happens well, down here. You have it. He has a tiny little chin. He has a little cleft chin, like a little butt. He has a little tiny butt on his face, and the butt stays there when he gets like the the neck fat here so he still has the little butt here yeah but like peter griffin kind of you know what i mean but you're way smaller now you're significantly smaller you don't even have the... like 15 pounds smaller however i carry the fat better yeah yeah you've got better better it's 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 about composition right yeah. that's that's what matters that's body see that's my problem is that like at my weight if i stored any of that fat in my legs I would be way more proportionate, but I have zero fat the in Greek my legs. Greek god legs. Yeah, I've just got all of my fat is from my waist up. Yeah. Anyway, that's okay. enough talking about how fat I am. Sure, no, is that what we <laughs> talked about? No. Yeah. Okay, I don't care. Okay. This is. Oh man, the qual. Let's talk about the quality of this camera for a minute. Wow. Which you still use this webcam, or you did? No, you do. Is that the E rank webcam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this is the no 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 this is prior to that this is the the c920 that we had which still today is the re most recommended webcam for live streaming this quality right here see it, yeah. okay. this is the most recommended camera for live stream. i guess it's not that bad are, are if you you're watching on a 1080p screen yeah they can see everything that's no fine. i'm asking are you guys able to hear this okay they Some can hear it fine it's louder than us oh, okay some of the clips are quieter because our mics have changed your like... headset's also low because those get super loud super fast you're would you right. like me to turn it up just a little bit no i was okay. more worried about that no okay. they can hear it just fine okay i have it compressed Okay. All right, let's see your beautiful gift. It's quite large. <laughs> you won't be needing this. Excuse my hair, I didn't wash it this morning. You won't be needing oh, wow. that. I'll take this, and you take that. That should just be your new... You be careful, or this will be my new hat. That's we still have be that. I know we do. It's right over there, isn't it? See my Forbidden somewhere. terms. Look at my sexy pictures by clicking this sketchy link. Oh, it makes it look like that's a mouth. No! I hate it! Oh my god. You're ruining my art. Or, this or is the true I'm 30 lore. years old and I don't lore. give a crap what anybody says about how I look on the internet and I'm not going to change my aesthetic for the one person who doesn't like it. Bite me. <laughs> <laughs> that is the E-Rank webcam. Oh, was it? Yes, was it? that is that, the E-Rank webcam. That clip was that person, that person, which I did take the lip ring out, but this person came into the stream or no, they commented on one of my videos and said like how my lip ring was too distracting for them to learn. And, you know, but then they kept coming back and I'm like, well, clear me, or clearly my lip ring doesn't bother you too much. And I said it like loud on stream. I, I, yeah. And I had never lashed out at any viewers 
like that. But this person, it's like the audacity, like you want something from me, but you want to come and crap all over my doormat. You know, that's, that's, that's crap not all over your doormat. Yeah, it's huh? my house. You don't, you don't come and poop on my house. Mustache has gone a long way since this one too. Yeah. Or, you've got more. Well, see, the thing is I used to trim this. This is more comfortable. This is the nice mustache. Yeah. Cause like I don't eat it every time I take a bite of food. <laughs> However, it's a little goofy. Wait, I love that. So everybody, get your screen. You guys should get ready to take screenshots. Hurry, get the Starla screenshot. Make your own memes. Tag me. Put put them all over mm -hmm. Instagram. I want to see them. All right, we're good. I love it. Anyway, yes. I'm 30 years this old, and I don't give a crap face. what anybody says about how I look on the internet, and I'm not going to change my aesthetic for the one person who doesn't like it. Bite me. <laughs> no, 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 We're here. Oh. Oh, you oh did, God! You did Look how again. bad this looked. You did it without me. I did. <laughs> do it again. Let me do it. No, 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 no! Did it again. <laughs> you didn't do it with me that time. No, I didn't. Don't. It's put... coming off. <laughs> it's coming off. Yeah. <laughs> mean face, ho! What was that? I don't know. Why did you do that? Because I felt like it. Why would you do that here? On this stream right now? I can. I can't believe you would do that live on public you television. Can't? I cannot believe. On public television. I cannot believe that you would just come in here and say hi to everybody. Like. You can't? Like that's the most normal thing in the world. You stop. Can't? Hey, stop gaslighting me. <laughs> this is precious. What is that? Poor Taylor. It's a Barbie. What what kind of Barbie is that? A boy and I don't. Do you like it? No. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's because it has a beard and I don't like beards. Her whole body's hair. <laughs> got a beard and I don't like beards. Today. <laughs> that was that was my favorite. Oh my goodness, poor little Taylor. I, bu I bought that right. Yes, so that was from a series. The, the videos are still on our channel, but one of our very first video series we ever did was um, Weird... It was called Weird Doodads We Bought on Etsy or Found on Etsy. And we would buy the weirdest thing we could find and gift it to each other and then record the reactions. And the audio quality is so bad. But that one, um, Mark had bought me this... It was called Shave and Play Barbie, and it was a Barbie just covered in hair, and you got a razor with it. And it was, it a was white... supposed to be a meme prank. Yeah, it was a white elephant gift, but we thought it would be super funny to wrap it up for Taylor and give it to her, which at the time, she was only like five. She's 12 now. Um, and yeah, it, it was hilarious, because she was genuinely like upset by it, because she thought that she was getting... But we gave her a real present afterwards. It was What you didn't see was as soon as we cut the camera off, her bawling her eyes out for how much she hated that. Yeah, she was really... She cried her eyes out. She was so upset. We felt so bad. Obviously, I... the magic of the internet, you didn't see that part. But boy, she was upset. I did not expect her to be so upset. She was so upset. But we gave her a... We had another like legit present lined up, which is in the video. You can see it if you go watch the whole video. She got like a squishy cat. Okay, you might want to... By the way, somebody said something about audio delay. I, do we have delay now? Normally, that has to do with stream settings. When you have the faster chat, the faster the, the video outputs, the more delay there is between the video and the audio because it has to compress that to send it to you. So I, I, there's that's unfortunately not something we can deal with on our side. She did sound so sad. Dude, she cried her freaking oh, poor baby. eyes out. That was one of those moments where Somebody we- said, I remember Regretsy. We thought, yeah, Regretsy was funny. No delay. It was delay in the clip, in the one bean clip. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah, it's a it's a compression thing. <laughs> okay, pull it back just back to Taylor so we can get the full. Got it. Okay. Boy, I don't. Do you like it? No. What's wrong <laughs> no. with it? It's because it has a beard and I don't like beards. She likes hair. beards now. They're deep and sexy today. It's because of the Rona. The Rona. Oh yeah, when we had COVID. <laughs> I believe in you. Everybody sing. You can do it. We believe in you, Mr. Moore. I'm a business coach, not a musician. 
There you go. Hope you like that. Really fighting. Oh, oh my God! I'm just sitting here playing this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not on the freaking screen. We'll be sure. Oh my God! All the way back. I was like two minutes of us just sitting here staring. God. <laughs> Professional <laughs> toasts. I don't God. Do you like it? My face hurts. No. no. What's wrong with it? It's because it has a beard and I don't like beard. Her whole body's hairy. Super deep and sexy today. It's because of the Rona. The Rona. You can do it. I believe in you. Everybody sing. You can do it. We believe in you, Mr. Moore. I'm a business coach, not a musician. Uh, Look how green we there you were. Go. Hope I you know like it. that. Early fighting, we love each other. We love each other. We just love to fight. So we have pamphlets <laughs> and everything else sitting there. There goes the train! I love it. Yeah! <laughs> Only That's live. my favorite. Only could that happen. Live. This. This is around the time I was super fat. I, I love my cat. Okay. What do you guys think? Uh, what? What do you think? Am I passable? Ooh, snap. Yeah, you are. Am I? Am have I? To kill this camera. Am I? <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. Welcome to another video. Here's some loud noises to entertain your kids. Wrong. We can't. We can't hear you. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, guys, we were going to have Amber answer questions today. Okay. Okay, Amber? <laughs> Amber, do you just want to come over? Do you just want to come over here? Oh, do you yeah. just want to... Fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> Pause it. Okay. Yeah, we're not... That one, that one was funny because we had planned that one so far ahead because when, when we knew Amber was coming to the U.S., we didn't like announce when she was coming over. So she was like, what if I take a bunch of clips of myself looking glitchy all in the same spot so that we can compile them in a way that looks like a glitch and I'll be in the same outfit that I walk on screen on because everybody knew that Amber was in the U.K. So it was, it was so funny. Um... Nobody expected it, and then she just like walks on screen. It's that episode is still available, um, but Amber's not on the thumbnail, which makes it really hard to find because we never advertised it as being a stream. Yeah, with Amber. Um, that was fun. Yeah, that was that was a fun stream. You sat in the you brought a chair up and sat kind of in the back. I remember um, with us. I remember the whole stream. That was great. That was great. Okay, we're good. We're good. Do you just want to come over? Do you just want to come over here? Do you just want to? Fine. Okay. All right. Fine. Yeah, we're not. We're <laughs> totally 100% <laughs> fine. You don't sound fine. You sound like we're fine. Oh, well, maybe keep it to yourself. We're 100% <laughs> fine. We are totally 100%. We're fine, guys. We're fine. We are perfect. She's fine. You're fine. I'm he's fine. Fi he's he's worth fine. fine. He's fine. Everything is okay. <laughs> nose and mouth. Please don't suffocate yourself with the bag. Josh, why would you send us something in a bag? Don't you know? <laughs> what did Mark it say? I can't remember. It worked. See what I did worked. You sure it wasn't me turning the autofocus what, back on? What I did worked. I fixed it because... You see what I live with. <laughs> I don't care if it thought it was going to go. If you try to take control of my... Go back. That, this is a mystery. The Friday... Oh, I went back. The Friday bean started, right? And we have the ability to go in and remove things if something goes wrong. Which happens from time to time. And Sometimes. A nice hard F or a C word will pop out. And I'm like, oh... Oops. Right. So, but I don't ever remember editing this. I don't either. And he sounded so angry. I think I said the F word. Because if you, if you go back. Because you're in such a good mood in the following clips. Yeah, so I know see, you weren't is, mad. The thing is, y'all, I'm Midwest. So F word is just kind of a part of my every sentence dictionary when I'm not on stream. It's a sentence enhancer. It is a sentence enhancer <laughs> if you watch SpongeBob. So more than likely, that's what happened. And 
I would bet shortly after the stream, you were like, you can't say that word. You sure it wasn't me turning Listen, the auto Listen, you're so mad. On? What I did worked. I fixed it because- You see what I live with. <laughs> I don't care if it- I thought it was gonna go. I don't care if it- yeah. That's that's the that's an F word bomb. That's an F bomb. But you're in such like I would normally think okay, he was having a bad day, something wasn't working, but normally like the epi the, the clipper he's like I'm fine, everything is fine. It was because everything went wrong and we finally got the stream to work and he was in that cool down period sure, of like his adrenaline pumping. What, what I did was like Star Lafarge. She I might have. Fixed it because you see what I We've never edited there I've never edited. There's a couple report. times when we were still using the the main webcam when we didn't have like a good. Now we've got a good boom microphone up here. You know, um, there have been a couple of times you can watch back on old streams and we've been able to play it off because we sat on leather chairs. But there have been numerous times that both you and I have just oh, and yeah. like no I've, one said anything. I've ripped there ass been, on stream all the time. There have been one or two times where one person will have commented, did someone just fart? And I won't I won't acknowledge it oh. at all. It so does happen. Is that lore? That no. is lore, fart lore. No, I, I fart all day. Like Shh. that's- There all... have been some that have been quite alarming. There have been a couple that have made us laugh both out loud. You know what's the worst though, is when, and it, I, I'm calling you out, uh oh. Because you get <laughs> you get morning sick tummies. Oh yeah, everybody gets morning sick tummies. Morning. Sometimes we wake up at like eleven o'clock right before the bean. And most and of we the, drink our coffee right before the stream. And most of the time you get to poop before the stream. Sometimes I don't. That's usually if he runs off in the middle of the stream. That's I, what I'm doing. That's what he's sure. doing. He's definitely going and taking a poop. But sometimes I fart all day. Question mark. He will he will rip one while we're sitting here, and it'll be <laughs> she has to just deal with it. And I can't acknowledge it. <laughs> I can't be like, bro, you stink. Go change your underwear. Like, nah. I can't do anything. Sometimes she'll make me mad and I'll do it on purpose. Anyway. And then, and then sometimes I'll hit him under the table. Like, I'll smack her back. You'll see us do it every once in a while where she'll, she won't shut up. She'll, she'll keep on the, she'll keep rolling on a topic and start repeating it herself. And I'm just, shut up. Shut up, and then she'll smack me back, or I'll start being mean to somebody, and she'll smack me, and I'll like grab her hand, like, "No, I'm no. gonna be. I get to be mean today." Okay, let's get back to it. Let's do it. That I don't care, but I was gonna go. I know if it you is. Try I'm to sorry. Take control of my stream that belongs to me because the channel clearly says Starla Moore down there, then you're gonna get burned. Okay, that's just. What is the name of that camera? That is the Sony A seven millimeter. A seven millimeter. Because <laughs> you would totally have a stream without me that didn't look like poop. And this is We're the to fight already, guys. This is the Elgato Square Rectangle. Square mic. The Elgato Square mic. Light up tappy mic. Gift. What are you drinking? Oh. Okay. Anyway. Mr. Moore is wearing a hat today because his hair is pretty crazy, but the hat is a little bit too small for his head, so um, if he starts to turn multiple shades of purple... It's only one. A couple of people said, what is the green thing, and where do I get one? Oh, this? Oh, your autism they're, toys? They're all my yeah, Google, just get on... I, I'm serious. Get on Amazon, because Fidget Toy is going to mostly give you spinners. Specifically, look for... Um, autism toys and it expands the amount of fidget toys that you'll get in your results and they're so much more fun mm -hmm. um i can't remember what this one specifically was called but if it I gets annoying please let me know i don't know if you guys can hear it overly on the mic this is the best thing that keeps i have severe adhd and I will completely stop paying attention. We're doing something I have to focus on, so. Well, he always, you guys might have noticed that he would always pick up things on his desk and like play with them and- I've got a pen now too. He'd click pens. So I bought him a bunch of fidget toys for stream that are quiet so that he can keep his fingers busy while we're streaming and it's yes. not giving you guys any audio feedback. Yes, this is a wonderful fidget toy because it forces you to not just sit and play with your fingers. It's fine and gross motor so I can completely keep on task. Anyway. Continuing, let's go back just a little bit. Mr. Moore is wearing a hat today because his hair is pretty office. crazy, but the hat is a little bit too small for his head, so um, <laughs> if he starts to turn 
multiple shades of purple. It's only when they ask me a question like, oh, you ordered this, right? Yes, chef. Gordon did you want? Did you, did you want the, the foam on your coffee? Yes, chef. My, my. <laughs> How the turns have tabled. Yes, yes, the coach, the Etsy coach. Yes, yes, the coach, the Etsy coach, the queen, queen, queen. Queen. How the turns have tabled. Alpha, alpha. My, my. Alpha. Yes, yes, the coach. The Etsy coach. Yes, yes, the coach. The this should be the intro. Alpha. Welcome to the <laughs> newly branded Friday Bean. I think it. I think it was royalty-free music that I dubbed your voice over. I don't think I did a, an actual yeah. original song. Yeah, that was. So that was the episode when we first started um, <clears throat> Alpha Dopt. And our shop got deactivated as a new deactivation. And I was I was actually excited because everybody's new shops were getting deactivated. And I'm like, yay, it happened to me. So I can make a video about how to get your shop back. Um, and that's been like three years ago. But that video, that's how I, you know, started the videos. I'm like, yes, it happened to me. You know, the Etsy queen, the Etsy coach, it, even, it can even happen to me. And when I passed that video off to you, because at the time you were editing. Yeah, I did it. that and didn't tell you. Yeah. And he just stuck that at the end. And it was I laughed so hard. Um, <laughs> but then, you know, what's funny is years later, I still get that stupid. And it's me, but I still get it stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. I'm like the coach, the coach, the Etsy coach. You should make a new version since now you're better at producing music. You should make us an EDM track. I can do that. Oh, that would be so funny. OK, I'm Starla. And I'm Mark. And we're here to fulfill your wildest beans. Welcome to Starla and Mark say things on the internet. That's still what it is. <laughs> that is still what it is. Oh, this was our hundredth yeah, episode. I peed. This is the hundredth episode yeah. intro. We put so much time into yeah, it. Yeah, I had to okay. specifically. I will start it over, but I had to specifically download and learn After Effects to be able to animate this stuff in it. It's not great. However, this is in one day of using After Effects. So, so much more effort went into this than we did for the 200th episode, but then the content of the 100th episode, we didn't do anything special. Yeah. Whereas this, we're doing something funny for the episode, but the intro kind of sucked. But you got you to gotta appreciate the effort he put in. Okay, go, go ahead and let's do it. Bring back Mark's side hair. Mark's side hair, the Hello. side flip. Uh, oh, six it broke. Hold on. 6.45. How did Can't it even. Did it freeze? Yeah, it did. It completely oh, froze. No. Thanks, Microsoft. That's okay. Starla is... 6.45. It's like right after this. Yeah, your wildest beans. Okay, that's it. Perfect timing. You know that things start getting screwy, you know? <laughs> this is so bad. I love it. I love it. It's eerie. The old kitchen. Raw dog in that water from the sink, right in our good kettle. We don't do that no more. Nope. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> She's so fat. <laughs> the effort. Oh, and then we didn't. And then we and then Are we there timed 220 it. 220 likes on this video. Extremely poorly. Yeah, we were trying to get it timed up so that we would hit the seat right when he hit the button, and there was just a little bit of delay. Amy was so fat. She was so fat. Oh my god. She's still chunky now, but she was like. 
10, 15 pounds heavier there. We didn't know how to take care of her, right? Well, the, the thing is she had severe like overeating issues as well. We were used to feeding like larger dogs when it yeah. came to a bigger dog and didn't realize that she's only supposed to be like 20 pounds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wrong Did dog in the water. <laughs> Yeah, because now we now we put only put filtered water in our expensive gooseneck kettle, and because we, we've had to replace it, and that one damn near got to the point where it needed to be replaced too. Cause yeah, it, like because we had hard water. Now we don't, so it's not that big of a deal. Right. Denise said, "Nice headboard." It. I mean, it makes a great bumper. Shit, you shut up. <laughs> that that headboard. <laughs> that's true. That headboard is still the the. That's still our bedroom. Like, yeah, it is. That's exactly what our bedroom still looks like. It's terrible, except messy. I hate that headboard. I like it. It's, bed it's it. bedazzled. It is bedazzled. All right, go back to like a second. Oh, okay, that works. Can see how badly we. Okay, so officially hitting the back ten seconds button breaks it. Oh, so that's what's doing that's it. That's what's doing it. Yeah, because that's uh, what did it last time. Starla okay. is at least at least you know like right where we're at. We get the end of the. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was kind of a long part. There we go. Okay, screen okay. share. Are there 220 uh, likes on this video? No, there better freaking be by the oh, time I cut this freaking live stream off. Like the video, it takes no effort whatsoever. That's still true. To do. <laughs> There's 189 of you here. I pulled a, I pulled right. a fast one on you this week. I pulled a, tr a tricky... A tricky, a tricky little stink. A tricky, a tricky stink. <laughs> we just talked about those. Am I pretty? Us. Who knows? Maybe I'll throw on a banana hammock and do it. Next. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> uh, no. Ah, uh, thank you for the five dollar donation. Because you have to take your towel, wrap it around your body, and like tuck one part of the towel under another part of the towel, so your bits and bobs don't fall out all over the floor. If Mark sell those contacts, there's no way his eyes are that blue. They are, in fact, that blue. There's no editing. We are going to be talking they are. about Brad Pitt's abs. Brad Pitt's abs. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome to our October unboxing. I'm Starla. And I'm Mark. <laughs> what did we get? <laughs> we have this... We had this brilliant idea to do a gender swap for an unbox. I'm wearing the hat, too, the same hat. But it just didn't turn out because I wasn't considering the fact that he had a full beard. Now, go back. I want to watch it one more time. I want to watch it one more time. Hopefully, it doesn't mess it up. If you drag it, it shouldn't. It's fine, but I have to go way back farther than you want to go. Oh, okay. Every single time. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to our October unboxing. I'm Starla. And I'm Mark. It's terrible. We spent money on this what bit. What did we get? What did we get? What is inside? <gasps> Bubble wrap. <laughs> that was a squeak. That's. I think we need to bring back chin beards or chin strap, Mark. What the wait? The chin beard. The chin beard. Oh you no! I you don't it. remember the no the no no ne I neck hate beard, it. Mark? No, Guys, I hate it. To our October unbox. Why does Starla have a Californian accent? Because I was stationed there for five years. Wait, Dang. no, wait. I think because you were trying to do me, but I've never sounded like that. That's just... Oh, because I was talking like a valley girl. Got it. That's the only voice. When you... That's the only girl. I have such a deep voice. If I'm going to do... If I'm going to talk like as a female, all I can do is the valley girl that, voice. That's your female voice for everybody. Yeah. I could ask you to do like a Michelle Obama and that's the voice that you would do. No matter what female it is, that's the voice. I hate I hate that that voice still just makes me roll my eyes every time I what, hear it. What the valley girl yeah, voice? Yeah, I know. And I know it's a so it's a stereotype, but I can't help it. Well, I just roll my eyes and walk out of the room. I well, I mean my voice for men I always do this every single time. This is always this is my man, my manly voice. <laughs> okay, let's Oh, everybody get this screenshot. Hurry. This beautiful picture of, <laughs> of Mark. Oh my God! Oh my who do you God. look like? Who do you look like? You look who like. Who do I look like? Who does he look like? Um, you look like a. You look like you definitely look like a famous person. Who do I look like? So everybody in the chat, let me know who I look like in this pic. All right, let's. Who do I look like? All right, let's see that chin strap beard. I'm Starla. And I'm Mark. Look, I even drew it. I drew the chin beard. 
You did. What did we get? Look at it. Oh, what I did hate we it. Get? Look at it. What is inside? It's so scraggly. <gasps> no, it's Rubble. not. It's perfectly trimmed. Awful. That was a squeak. That's that's my my slogan of the year. But sorry for you out there with a the butt stink fetish. Uh, Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was the context of that situation? Go back. Go, go back. Go back. My slogan of the year, butt stink. Sorry for you out there with a butt stink fetish. Uh, Bubbles. You don't remember? No. Okay. You'll never know. That'll do, I guess. Just stare at her because she can't keep a straight face and I've got the whole military thing going on. <laughs> and... I, I almost have to do it. She <laughs> bent over with her butt, like right here on him. I sure can. Synonym, synonym, anemone. <laughs> so, that, do you know what story I was telling? No. What story was there? Someone who bent over and put their butt in your face. Oh, at the Chinese restaurant in Springfield. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Dude, 12 years ago. Dude, that girl ago. wanted it bad. Man, we that was the thirstiest person I think I've ever interacted with. She would bring our drinks. It was a buffet. Yeah. She would bring our drinks and she would give me mine. Real nice. And very aggressively give hers. Like slammed it on they, the table. And then every time we were there, she would clean clean the area that no one else was sitting in other than us and spend a really long time cleaning the table next to us just butt in the face the whole time. Every time we came in there, I caught her taking pictures of me. <laughs> before I've never, before camera phones were even up. Yeah, it was, it was one of the crappy little like Nokia <laughs> like flip phones with a camera on it. And I caught her. <laughs> Oh. I'd, I'd never talked to this woman. No. Was... I've never said anything other than yes and thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. That was like 12 years ago, but that's... Yeah, a long time. We still tell that Hope story. you're doing good out there. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the confidence. <laughs> Bent over with her butt, like, right <laughs> here she on did. him. I sure can. Synonym, synonym, anemone. <laughs> uh, why is there a cup on your J? Head. Because I'm Cuphead. <laughs> because I'm only the world's okayest coach. If I was the world's best coach, the cup would be on the desk. Oh, that, that's Amish what everybody says when on. they come over to my house for the for the for the first time. The best thing that he made was the cream pie. He, if you're if you're confused as to what that is, it's a food. As you too, <laughs> or you do. They don't care how. <laughs> it's a. Uh... <laughs> It's a food like everybody it's a, is. It's a sugar cream pie or a Hoosier pie. They're so good. To, to those who are unacquainted with Midwest speak, I promise. They're great. No, I'm just, I'm going to stop. I mean, they're, they're, he makes the, for, for like Thanksgiving, but you know, all the, all the perverted minds, he had to clarify, he felt the need to clarify that it was, clarify. that it was a food. That's the first place my mind goes to. <laughs> long it took you to make it they don't we can answer questions now i have my emotional support potato he had a customer a woman said oh god that she needed to put the phone down to go over and reboot her modem and um didn't come back for like five minutes and then she like crawled over to the phone apparently and picked it up was like sorry i fell just give me a minute up I asked if I wanted to, if she wanted me to call somebody, and she's like, "No, I'm fine. It just takes me a few minutes to get up." A fluke going on in here. Yeah, fluke? that was from my tech support job, dude. You were still I working would... that job when we did that yeah, episode. I hated that job. However, there were numerous situations that were absolutely hilarious. We were not allowed to hang up working on this company. By the way, Frontier. Uh, is one of the companies I did internet for. Don't get internet from those people. They're starting to spread out to the rest of the country. Terrible company. They don't do the customer support themselves. But anyway, uh, we're not allowed to hang up on their customers. Uh, and I had one who was a conspiracy theorist who was very convinced that a cult was listening to her. 
through her phone calls. What if she was I right? couldn't get her off the phone. I was on the phone with her for an hour and 45 minutes. We're supposed to end our phone. There was a time quota. You couldn't be on the phone for more than like 10 minutes before people started questioning. But you also couldn't just hang up on somebody unless they were berating you or like being inappropriate. Yeah. And this girl would not get off of the phone. She kept talking about how she was hearing other voices in her phone. This that she said she had a landline. She was hearing or no, no, no. She had internet phone. And she was getting interference from other internet phones in the neighborhood because the line wasn't grounded properly. So she was hearing her neighbors computers and radios and phones and stuff going through her phone. Too. And yeah, it happens if you plug in like a guitar amp and turn it up really loud, it can pick up, you know, EMI. Um Oh my God, this conversation. I had my supervisor and then finally like the owner of the customer support company directly messaging me like, are you okay? I'm like, I can't get this crazy girl off the phone. What, she, if, what if she was right the whole time and you were wrong? And then finally they're like, okay, pass it to like a level two person after like an hour and 45 minutes. I'm like, under what category? Crazy lady thinks the government's <laughs> watching her? I don't know what to do. No, that job was wild. Take it back a second. This I like this one. Look at you. Look at you. Look, wait, hold on. Look at little baby Mark. Look how cute I was he is. fresh out of the military here. So cute. He finally got to grow out his hair and his beard, and he didn't know how to do it right, so he just kind of looks like fuzzy Justin Bieber. Sweet little baby. Okay. Who's your pie? No, it's... Who's your... Like, like H O O S I E R. Who's your? It just takes me a few minutes to get up. A floof going on right here. Is that a good floof? I'm gonna fix my floof. It, it looks fine. I don't know what you want me to do with it. Fix my floof. Right, cool. That's good. That's good. Fondle it. Fondle my floof. Fondle it. Okay. He talked to Jerry. <laughs> Gilligan talked. <laughs> you still. I remember that exact moment. Sorry, USPS was here. No. I, I remember that exact moment, but I'm going back to it because I lost my mind. It just takes me a few minutes to get up. A floof going on right here. Is that a good floof? I'm going to fix my floof. It, it looks fine. I don't know what you want me to do with fix it. Fix my floof. That's cool. Fondle That's it. That's good. That's good. Fondle it. Fondle my floof. Fondle it. Okay. He talked to Jerry. G Gilligan talked to Gary and he chuckled. <laughs> Gilligan talked to That's Gary. That's just who you are now. You no. can't. No, you can't get away from it. I would try to get you. that. I love you, Gilligan. <laughs> I, got, I don't want to get the streams crossed. Never cross the streams. Uh, which... You know the kind you get when you go to like a petting zoo and they've got that weird like Ew. fudge. They've got that weird like goat's milk fudge window sitting up front and they got the good fudge. I don't think that the anatomical that's... name for the... If I went to the doctor and I had an issue there, I, that's the word that I would use. Yo, doc, what up with my taint? Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Yo, Doc, what up with my tape? <laughs> I got a bump on my gooch. <laughs> <laughs> like the Indiana Hoosiers. Yes, yes, it is an, it is an Indiana recipe. <laughs> Yo, Doc! Oh my god! What's up with my tank? That's not it. That's, that's, this is part one of a two part clip. Oh my god! Milk My fudge window sitting up front, and they yeah. got the good fudge. I don't think that the anatomical <laughs> name for the... If I went to the doctor and I had an issue there, I, that's the word that I would use. <laughs> Yo, Doc, what up with my taint? Good morning, YouTube! <laughs> good morning, everyone. Have you guys tried the Cherry Blossom LaCroix? It tastes like hot dog water. Mm. It's not very good. It's we got not. it because we're like, ooh, that sounds good. Tastes well, like gooch. <laughs> what the <laughs> word? <laughs> the original shaven play Barbie. Are you okay? Oh, it's so hot. Oh my god, your hair. Pull off my pull off my skull cap here. Ah. Uh, is it sweaty inside? Ew. If you hear loud female cat cooing in the background, our cat's horny. So <sighs> Could, did you have to say it like that? Oh, yeah, thanks for coming out. <laughs> I hate these people. I want to go home. Come on. <laughs> I'm here. She's back. I, I, uh, I'm here. Wait. Don't don't start without me. Too late. Wait. Hold on. Oh, okay. As a teenager, please don't judge teenage Starla. She was very immature. Um, <laughs> imagine the things you said when you were 19. You probably are very embarrassed by who you were, hopefully. My first keys were terrible. Um, a lot of you might have seen them in my <laughs> sold album. They did sell, or I modified them later on, but they were mainly just my uh, base model keys, like You pause these. it. 
<laughs> I'd hit that. Yeah, that was that's 19 year old Starla. That's my my very first video where I did a Q and A for my customers about my business. My voice is so different. You and know, looking back now, it was funny because like nobody took you seriously. And now that I'm watching and I'm like, it's because you looked and sounded like a child. I did. I did sound like a child. But you know what's hilarious is that despite the fact that I sound like a child here, if you listen to more casual videos of me, more candid videos of like me talking to my daughter, my voice still sounds a lot like my current voice. But when I was on camera... I always talked with a higher inflection. She did, and I told her to stop. And I, I did it because I was really uncomfortable, and I said everything like it was a question. And I remember sp specific conversations and you getting mad at me for saying you need to stop talking like that. You sound like you're saying a question all the time. Well, I've got I, I feel, and I still feel this way. I feel like for a female, I have a relatively deep and monotone voice. And I thought that adding a higher inflection to my voice would make me come off as more cute. Like, that's what I genuinely thought because I was subcon. I, I, I was. No, it made you sound like you were 13. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was a teen. I was. A you were still a teenager. No, was I? True. Was I? Would I have been? I, this was right after Taylor was born. So you would have been. Yeah. 19. Yeah. 20. 19, 20. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Around that time. Anyway, smash. Um, with just a few gems or roses on them, there wasn't anything really special about them. And I realized that the more and more and the more black that hair. I packed onto one key, the uh, better and faster it sells. So it needs to be something that can be proven. Aww. Yes. Not that I don't think. Sweet baby you're beans. You're beautiful, Itty. You're beautiful. Oh, your breath, though. Your breath. Your breath is not beautiful. Can I stand? Body hole. Let me put I it, miss our let stinky me put it baby. on. Let me try this shirt on for you. Okay. <laughs> this, this is oh this is the shirt guys i'm gonna go sit and make think. it rain make it rain make it rain. oh that's a big <laughs> this is number five right number it five, looked very italian five, in that last right? one number five right number five but anyway that'll all be like like four shia labeouf's in size but Go for it. He's Marky Marky LaBeouf. I have to say, you can't say Marky Mark. That's already a person. Yeah. Marky La LaBeouf. Oh, shush. <laughs> I'm so funny. Honey, you can't get away with abuse on camera. Can you please stop? <laughs> Is that abuse? Was that abusive? <laughs> no, it's what I'm going to do. Mm. <laughs> and then be yourself. Be yourself. I thought she was going to say she's pregnant. No, that's not even possible. So. No, not possible. Mr. Morris, neutered. Um. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> neutered. It's so much worse than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so we went to Kroger's. And... We still have that? Um... It was our mat at the bottom of the stairs for the longest time. Man. That way, every time you would walk down our stairs into our basement, or even just open the door to look, it, it was right there. No, but do you want to? You want me to tell you a story to make you mad? So the person who I bought that from also made our OG um, <clears throat> handmade alpha. This was like before print on demand was like a big thing. Oh no, I remember specifically. I remember they, who it was. Yeah, they made us our Friday uh Alpha Q&A mugs for when it was called Friday Q&A. But we asked them if they could make us a rug for the background with the Alpha logo and they took the money for it. Yeah, it wasn't just a rug. It was one of the the work style uh rugs with the rubber Wrap um, that's meant to stand on, yeah, like industrial rugs. I paid them like two hundred bucks for that, and they bounced. Yeah, yeah. We don't. I don't know what happened to them. They, they just disappeared. Bounced. They did. They probably got shut down for copyright infringement because that's... they had a bunch of copyright stuff in their stores. And at the time, we weren't really focusing on that because it right. wasn't a problem on Etsy. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. It was just POD was just starting to like POD, dig its roots in. Well, that. POD wasn't really a thing. It was these people, you know, it, it was like before POD was a thing, you'd order the stock from... From the companies who now supply POD suppliers yeah. with their supplies. And you'd yeah. keep it at your house and then yeah. you'd still have to kind of ship it out. Yeah. 
There was this, you know, Found older that. lady. She's kind of hunched over. We're not even playing it. Oh, Th start this one. This is some more lore. Can we start? Okay. After we watch this video, we got to start this back up. You said, uh, I need a Pedro Pascal. One of those. I'll sit on it. Oh, okay. Honey, honey yeah. sweetie. <laughs> Gilligan, baby, sweetie. Oh, no. It's okay. Oh. So we, we went to Kroger's and there was this, you know, older lady. She's kind of hunched over looking at some phone chargers on a rack. All. And uh, we were walking oh, yeah. past her and our daughter, Taylor, who's 10, said something, you know, I, something that she didn't want to do. And as we passed by, Mark said, what? Very loud, kind of in this woman's direction. He's, you don't have a choice. And she very quickly dropped what she was holding and covered her covered her chest oh god and i was like oh i'm sorry i didn't mean to startle you and then i proceeded to walk away <laughs> but he didn't hear what she said after that nope. as we started to pass by she went no i liked it <laughs> we're alive we are alive. that was a real oh, thing god. that happened it like no i that. liked it like, we're even we're even and i am wearing pants automatically have Free emails. Wait. I totally missed what I was saying. Free email. Free emails. <laughs> okay, wait. Cold medicine. I'm just gonna cut that part out. Thanks for the blooper. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. One, two, three. And I'll also have a. <laughs> Shut up. Taylor, come with mommy. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. That's Nicholas Cage. <laughs> That's what we should put up facing our neighbor's house. Just leave it? Yes, in our window now. Should it, should it go that way? See? <laughs> -la 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 -la. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> this was my. Okay, wait, pause it. Guys! This was my first video. This was my first Etsy video ever. This was, yeah, this was, uh, we were still in California. And I didn't put any of the content from the video, only the intro, because the content is just not even applicable. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> oh, God. I love it. It's so embarrassing. This is humiliating. It's not humiliating. Hi to my fans. Hi to anybody who was tagged in this video. Hi to people who are already fans of my page. Hi to anyone who I just randomly popped in your newsfeed and you're thinking, who the heck is this chick? And why is she wearing a hat? Oh no, it's so bad. Go downstairs. Let's show him the studio. Oh, on, baby beans. Go downstairs. I think this is the last clip. This is our first okay. studio. Same room, Hello. but Hello. how it looked initially. Work in progress. The wall's still the there. Moore desk. We're currently sitting right where I was just and doing stuff. No. But yes, we were. No, I desk. was here. Oh, you were? We're here yeah. Mrs. Moore. Ooh, random goofy posters. And then the couch is and where this is now, beans. where the backdrop is. Yes. And the beans. And the beans, yeah. And, then and that room's still full of junk. Trash back there. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. The alpha wall is still there. There was just a couch in front of it. That was That was it. That was it. Rough. My We have Lord. come a long way. Wow. My face hurts. My face hurts. Um, so, friends, what have we learned today? What have we learned today? What have we learned? What, we what? have a lot of fun here. We're super duper cringy. We are now, or we used to be? Always will be. Oh, okay. What Unfortunately. Have, what did you guys learn today? What educational Etsy content did you learn today? Wow. Um, <clears throat> we have come a long way. Thank you guys for, for hanging out. Let's, 
We'll give away some shirts here in just a minute because I did remember. We've got like 30 minutes left. We'll probably just goof around. You guys are you guys can ask us stuff if you want. Um if you have any questions from the from the from the elder days, the the elder days. The elder days. I don't know how to. I, I was expecting this to be longer than it ended up. How to be, talk to your doctor about your bits? Your bits? You well, it's not your bits. Apparently, it's your taint. You, yo, yo, doc. What up with my taint? What up? <laughs> that was so bad. Oh man. We can learn that when Etsy goes else. bust, I will look for Starla for stand-up comedy. Unfortunately, that's probably more my bit. She'll probably just move on to teaching you how to sell on your own website. I'm unintentional. I don't try to be funny. I do stupid things that end up being that. funny. Whereas you, may, I'm, I'm, I'm too hot. You make it a point to try to be funny and you're funny. I'm funny not trying to be funny. Be genuine, be consistent. Sure, yeah. That's, that's it. That's the number one thing that we've learned. You can see, you can tell like how much more comfortable we are on camera now like i really don't care about being on camera anymore and we both were still pretty like tight Ti that's, that's that's a good that's that's how it feels it's not like scared it's not like walking in front of a crowd of people where like you get the stage fright it's not quite like that it's just teaching yourself a behavior that isn't normal i'm more i am more comfortable in front of a room of people. I mean, mm -hmm. the biggest crowd that I've spoken to was 1,200. Granted, they couldn't hardly hear me because the acoustics in that room were so bad. Yeah, biggest crowd I've ever played to is about the same. Yeah. So walking out on that stage, I was, le I mean, obviously that like standing behind the curtain and waiting to come out like for the introduction, that part is scary because you're just standing there waiting. Um, but once I was actually out there, I was totally fine and I'm still like that. And maybe it's because I've taught classrooms, um, you know, when I was, but I, it's different when it's children because children are always excited to see you as long as you're excited to see them. Um, but yeah, being on camera, it's a different thing because you know that no matter what, there's 161 of you still here. And at least one of you is like, man, I wish this chick would shut the hell up. Like, you know what I mean? You always know that there's at least one person watching with an audience this big that isn't digging what you're doing. It's getting to the point where that no longer matters to you. Because let's face it, most people don't even like themselves. So I don't really need to take it personally if they don't like me. Yeah, dude, you gotta, you have to start somewhere. Someone said, now I'm not afraid to make a video. Don't be. Don't be, don't be. And all, Here, here's the thing. How many billions of people are on this planet? A lot. A lot. Billions. Chances are some of them don't like you and won't like you and will never like you. And nothing you say will reach their ears with any kind of happiness. But no matter what you say, Somebody will like you and somebody will agree with you and somebody will listen to you and some people will follow you. And sometimes that turns into a community. And Tina's. <laughs> what? I've learned Mar some stuff. I've learned Mark still hates us and would rather be elsewhere. So that the context of that clip wasn't for you. It wasn't you guys. It was I think it was family gatherings or no social social scenarios. Social, social scenarios. Right. I love playing on stage. I love performing to thousands of people. I hate talking to them. Right, right. The second... <laughs> I, I hate talking to people real bad. And I, I, don't, I wish I wasn't that way. I, that's just how I've kind of always been. It's not, it's not that you hate talking to people. I think that it's more that... I'm an introverted extrovert. I like to go places. I don't want to talk to the people that are there. If you find somebody who is very like-minded, you tend to do well with them. But yeah, I feel yeah. like... You and know. it's not for a lack of confidence. Our family, for example, not like our, our immediate family, but like when we go to like his rich family's Christmas parties, they're like aliens to us. And it's hilarious because they think because we're young, they they just assume that we don't make money. And we we actually ask them because they live in this beautiful area and we've we've been looking to get a new home for quite a while. Um, we actually just paid this house off and we asked them, like, how much are homes in this area running right now? And his uncle was just like, a lot. A lot. Too a lot, much. Too much. Like, nah, homie, not too much. Like, just tell us yeah, how much. Like, how about just be a man and talk to me man to man right. instead of being a 
Gooch. Right. Talk, talk, talking money is important. I think that I think that we, my generation, his generation especially, were taught mm-hmm. like you know not to talk about money. But that is a corporate instilled. We. I went to college, and uh, while I was still in the military, I took a PR class, and I took a um, what the hell is that called? You're working for a business, and you're like you deal with the people. Directly. Hospitality. Whatever. Uh, I can't remember the actual term yeah. for the class. They We actually went into this. It was uh, We had to write a paper on discussing income in the workplace. And not only did they find that uh, income was more consistent in workplaces that allowed it, uh, it actually encourages competition and increases productivity for people to talk about how much they're making within the workplace because it keeps your boss in check. Because one person can't make significantly more than another person based on the same set of skills. But it also forced the employees to actually work harder so they could be the one making more money. Yeah. There is no downside to discussing your income unless you're like talking to a criminal about how much money you make. Right. So and it can let's also, kill that stupid mindset that people 100 years ago came up with. It also eliminates things like, you know, wage gaps for for women in, you know, in fields. But yes. when I go to... This is the first year that I haven't gone back to CTC to speak. When I go back to my high school to speak to the seniors, that's one of the things. I actually have a presentation on being open about money and explaining that, um, you know, the corporate world has always um, created this perception that talking about money Mm -hmm. is a negative thing because it's braggy, it's unprofessional, when in reality, it's so that inconsistencies can occur without everybody knowing about it. There's one tip that I've learned from kind of working our way up and and putting ourselves in the middle where, like, we can see people who are struggling. Our family. Uh, our family. and I mean, it's a lot of our students. It was us. For... We, and we also are in this unique position where we know multiple CEOs have conferences and press calls with people that make more than seven digits a year in their in their businesses very very large small businesses but but very large always question your reality remember anything that a corporation has taught you is so that they can grow not so you can grow question everything all the time always who does this information benefit you or me whose best interests are in mind you or me or us if the answer isn't you or us, it's not for you. And don't be delusional about it. Right. And, and anyway, for, I mean, like our our parents' generation, which, you know, based on YouTube de- demographics, that's where most Same of Same generation a lot of you are. Right. That's where most of you fall into. Which my, I love. I love that people that are 10, 15, 20 years older than me listen to me. I think that that's wonderful. My mom is 52. My mom is 52 years old. Um, which is, you know, funny because my virtual assistant, Michelle, and, you know, she's also probably. The, the only person I talk to on a daily <laughs> basis. She's also 52 years old. So, um, but th- that generation was taught not to talk about money for that exact reason. Um, and, you know, it, and you still see it where people, I can feel people get uncomfortable when you start to discuss money. And you shouldn't. I'm very open about discussing money yep. and talking about different revenue streams and, um, the only reason that I am ever hesitant to talk about money is for like our safety, because I don't want there to be a perception that how much money we made, yep. you know, is how much money we have because of expenses, or it's, taxes. Or it's how much money we actually made. Yeah. Taxes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Between between taxes and actual business expenses, it costs. A, and it, it keep in mind that we do this, we work for E-Rank, we have uh, multiple companies that we do stuff for. We're not paid for for most of those efforts. We do significantly more for free than we actually get paid for. It cost us about $175,000 to run all of our business last year yep. between taxes and if, I'm not going to disclose how much we actually make, but it costs a lot to run this business. Oh, God, just, yeah. just the alphas alone cost, I want to say like fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 last year. I mean, you got to consider... Internet bills, electricity, all of our email list stuff, everything that goes into our websites, keeping agreements with other people. There's a lot that goes into it. Just just internet stuff alone is like 18 grand a year. Yeah. So. And, that's, and that's not to mention like when we yes. actually buy new things, like this light is new. Um, the backdrop we bought last year, um, mm-hmm. you know, the camera. God, the camera. Is that camera paid off now? Yeah, the camera's. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's been paid off yeah, for a absolutely. while. Absolutely. We we make enough on YouTube now I can buy that camera every other month. Yeah. Yeah. So the YouTube. The, the YouTube. And we we do try to put it back in. We're saving it now, getting ready to do this entire wall with soundproofing and ceiling is gonna get soundproofing and some other stuff too. But yeah, it's stay stay humble and realize that almost no one is there for you. So don't take people's advice whose interests aren't your own. Yeah. And also we were actually discussing uh, uh finances the other day. Don't take financial from advice from someone who's less successful than you are. Yeah. If they're not where you want to be someday, then don't take and never financial have advice. Been. Yeah. Yeah. Don't take advice from them. Take yeah. it from a professional. All right. Let's let's go through the comments and see where we are. Because I don't want this to turn out serious. Wow, my face hurts. Does it? I laughed so hard that my face is just sore. A lot. Some of the videos that you saw aren't available anymore. Like I've actually hidden them on my channel just because they're so they're so old, and some of the information is no longer. I wasn't sure. If relevant. Let me type taint. <laughs> it does. Yes. Maybe like tainted. You know, it's tainted. Well, we have a whole list of words you can't say that's auto-blocked. Taint just isn't a bad word. It's an anatomical part of the body. I don't think it is. It I is. It is. Your taint is what your doctor will call it. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think Starla Mark would say about what you have achieved now? Holy crap, y'all. <laughs> I wouldn't believe... I would not believe it. Mm. Mm -mm. I remember when my goal was to... Like, all I thought about was reaching six figures. Like, Reaching that was that was my goal. I was so obsessed with the idea of reaching six figures. Mm -hmm. We paid over six figures in taxes last year. Yep, we sure did. Also learned some fun things. Did you guys know that you don't pay Social Security over like I think it's like a hundred and seventy grand a year? Be mad at billionaires for that because a lot of them collect it even though they only pay Social Security on the first hundred and seventy grand they make. Crazy. Be mad at them. Eat the rich. Uh, I get nervous <laughs> doing a lecture after 35 years. You know, that's that's actually interesting. So for those of you who don't know, I was an intelligence analyst in the Air Force. And for about three of those years, I was a professional presenter. I actually would take what I'd learned and I would present it in front of a group of like some of the most chiefs important and... pit, oh, chiefs, chiefs. Try, try generals, generals um, and congressmen and sometimes briefings that went all the way to the president. I did some pretty important stuff. It was cool. Um, that never gets easier. <laughs> that never gets easier. Anytime somebody's like, here's a new important person you're going to talk in front of, you're like, oh, no, don't screw up. This is way easier than that. Well, yeah. There's no person. Because this, you just have to be a little bit insane and talk at an inanimate object and hope that the people on the other side uh, can hear you. Yeah, but we talk about, you know, that was like the big right. fart talking about ripping, ripping farts. I don't... Co Ripping Starla farts. a couple of years ago would would not have talked about. You want to tell them the fart story when we first no. got together? No, that's not. They're not ready. That's a that's an after dark stream. No, not the not the whole story. Just <laughs> now the, they're real confused. Just the fart. Just the fart part. No. Just the fart part. Literally the first day we were together. I held my farts all day. We had spent the evening together, partying. Um, <laughs> at 19 and she it, just it, farted all night she passed out in my sleep yeah in I, her sleep and just all night and the first thing i said to her when she woke because she woke me up with them several times just loud um is i she woke up and she rolled over and i was like oh good morning toots i had tried all day to not fart around him because we had just started dating like i didn't want to do that and then he spent the night and apparently i just farted all night Tell the no. yeah, tell the fart part of the eighteen plus story. Yeah, tell the fart part. The yeah. Fart part. You guys you can fill in the blanks. Words of wisdom. We were uh, we were young. Starla, you are who inspired me to be brave enough to go on camera, literally avoided being in photos, let alone actual videos, and considered it my biggest fear of business stuff. And we look love how you guys. and look how far your brand has gone since then. And look at the big things that you're actually doing now. I mean, that's Every time I hear these stories of how you guys, because to me, it's like simple concepts that, you know, when I see them applied in completely different ways, that's magical because I can, I can come up with an idea or present an idea or take something from psychology and explain, you know, and adapt it to marketing. But it's really the unique application of that, that, that astounds me. And that's what sets some 
people apart from others is that some of you watch, like for example, last Tuesday's video was about marketing psychology. And I gave a couple ideas about how to apply those, you know, concepts from psychology into your business. But at the same time, there are some people who will look at that and say, you did not tell me exactly what to do. You know, click here, click here, click here. Therefore, this content isn't good. Then there are the people that are able to say, wow, this psychological concept can apply directly to this pre-existing knowledge of my business and, you know, my customers that I already have. And those are the adaptable brands. And that's usually why I tell you guys not to worry so much about the people who are like copycats, because that just tells me that they're not adaptable yes. and they're going to burn out because they're not coming up with new ideas. They're not able to come up with their own conclusions. They rely on other people's. I'm 60, 63. I have kids your age. You know, and I, and I think it's a great representation because I think there's eventually going to become a point where our audience starts to be younger than us and we're going to start to lose relevancy. It's inevitable. That's that's how the the internet works. It's a it's a it's an important reminder that the next generation does know better than you. And it's interesting watching people in their 20s and early 20s even cuz I'm almost 33, she's almost 32 who are I like starting to Oh, yeah, that's right. You just turned 32. Anyway, <laughs> They're, they're starting to change the mold, even from what my generation has come in and changed that sucked about generations prior to us. And I think it's really important, if there's one thing that you can take away, the younger generation does know better than you. They know better than me. The current generation over 18 knows better than me. They do dumb stuff, but they, they do still... dumb, They do dumb stuff. We all we all did dumb stuff. I mean... Uh, they, they adapt... Disco was a thing, and everyone who was a part of it regrets it. Every generation <laughs> does something stupid. Um, Disco was a thing. Love, relationships, happiness, science, progression, progression as a society, they know better. Every single one of them knows better than every single one of us. Just the same as we knew better than our generation, and that generation knew better than some of you. It happens. Remember, that's always the case. No matter how far down that rabbit hole you get, the next generation is always better. It might not be the better that you expected, but it's always better. They're, it's because they're raised in it. You know, we were exactly. raised. You you identify the negative traits of your environment and you delete those. Mm -hmm. And then the next generation, they identify the negative traits and they delete those, which is why everyone over a certain age tends to be keep it this way. And everyone under a certain age says change it. Change it is almost all. It's not always right, but it's almost always right. So I think the important thing is to remember, stay happy. Enjoy what you do. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, why are you doing it? Quit doing it. There's going to be a little bit of suffering along the way, I think. You know, everyone struggles a little bit right now. But the one thing you all have to remember, if there's anything that you can take away from what we've learned, is you only learn or you only live once. YOLO. YOLO. You only live once. Spend every day, whether it's a happy day or a busy day, living it to the best of your ability. That is so true. Please. And if you guys uh, haven't noticed all the charity donations coming in, our charity of the month is Cat Adoption Rescue Efforts uh, Care down below. Thank you to Anonymous, who donated a hundred dollars i saw fern donated five dollars i think there were a couple donations throughout the uh, stream we figured that we would do a stream or a uh, charity this month for for kitty cats since everybody loves bubbers so much so age actually doesn't matter it doesn't but categorization makes things easier oh yeah absolutely we have i mean which we and, and you can see examples of that here we were talking about generational your mom's 52 can barely operate a computer to save her life there are people here that are older than that, that use like After Effects and yeah. Lightroom and all these different crazy programs. Obviously, age because is just a number. However, when 75% or more of the people within an age group act a certain way, you can categorize them that way, and it's usually a safe bet. You guys practice um, self-education. Yes. Yes, that is, that is a primary distinguishment. Distinguishment? Distinguishing, distinguishing factor, factor <laughs> for the majority of you. You are here. This is an education channel. Not today. Not today. Today, <laughs> today it's just a fun channel because we're celebrating us and life and happiness. You celebrate and, me. And celebrating her and our weird cult of people we have cultivated over the last couple of years. 
cult cultivate <gasps> those words but no my, no my mom my mom she if you guys have seen the weird naked crochet man doll in all I the groups it. my mom made the weird that's her weird naked crochet man doll but i i had to set up the facebook page and everything for that last weekend because she had no idea how to do any of that she was gonna try to do it all from her phone and i'm just like mom yep. You got to make like a cover photo and a profile. Like it, you got to sit at your computer and do this. She and she brought like this laptop that was like seven years old. Over. Yep. Hey, let's go ahead and start the charity or the charity the giveaway. Um, yeah, because we only have like ten minutes left. We'll keep going through questions. Is everyone able to locate the wolf emoji in the little emojis? Somebody paste it that way other people can uh or you can just type actually, the, or you can just yeah. type the word wolf. Yeah. So I and I'll pop it into a random generator that way it's it's equal. We're going to give away some of these Friday bean embroidered t-shirts. I think I can get them up to 5x. Don't quote me on that. I believe that they go up to 5x though and these are on Heather Gray Bella canvas. They're super soft. Um so we'll give some of these away, however many you want to give away. And uh, up to you. All right. Setting setting some terms, however. When we finish this, you will need to email us at Starla at the at sign. Handmade Alpha Academy dot com. We'll type it in the chat. I will type it in the chat once it's once it's all done within a week. Before, before next week's bean. Mm -hmm. I think I think a week is plenty of time. Yeah, because I, I have a busy weekend. So Monday is probably when I'll get yes. back with each of you and order them. Yes. Um, so by next Friday, we will need to have received an email if you win. With your shirt size and your address. Full address. Yes. Also, we had a couple people, I think last time or over the last couple of times, who are in countries who have a tax on things like that. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do to cover that tax ahead of time. So if you get one and you choose to keep it, you're probably going to have to pay an import tax for that. Yeah. That only applies to like a couple of you. you they know. They ship things. They're yeah. business If owners. you usually pay it, you're going to pay it again. That's just how it is. Okay. If you want a shirt, put your wolf in the chat. Okay. Um, did you want to keep reading some questions while they're sure. getting Sure. I'm going to have to get this before the chat disappears. Uh-oh. No, I don't think. Oh, cool. I didn't scroll down. And we'll let this go until near the end of it. And I will announce the names here. Don't go nowhere. You, I'm not. I can't send you an email. I have no way to contact you. So don't go nowhere if you want one. That's true. You can't leave. Oh, you have to sit here and listen to our craziness. Oh, cool. HA is exclusively for 30 and 60 year olds. Aaron is the exception. We have literally every age group. Yeah, we had a teen. We had a teen whose parent bought it for them. We have people over 80. We do. We do we have, have people, several people over, over 80. Yeah. We've also had alphas. Um, I stopped listening to my parents a long time ago. We've, yep. we've also had students who've passed away. We had one who passed away from uh, COVID. We had another who uh, recently, um, you guys might remember Jess Bourne. She uh, passed away of brain cancer last year. I'm still... Facebook friends with her daughter. It's very strange. Just just came and saw us at our very first speaking event, and I signed her copy of Predictably Irrational. She, I actually she wanted an autograph in her copy of. Predi I thought that that was so cute. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, we've it's it's a weird, it's weird to be an empath, and to see this many people because I see names all the time, and sometimes they go away. You know, sometimes we're just someone's. Uh, someone's little their hobby or their phase you know they they take a few months where they watch our content and we get familiar with them and then they disappear and we never know where they went and we start to see names disappear from the feed and it really does affect me i mean I, sometimes I, it's bad sometimes it's good sometimes people just get too busy i understand that just and that's and that's a positive thing and i keep an eye on them people like paula haas you know paula doesn't have time to chat with me but i still watch i still observe her business um but it was weird going back through some of those old videos and seeing yeah. us talk to people and then realizing, where did that person go? Where did that person go? Right. Because then I always wonder, like, what did something happen? Like, are they okay? It's just, it's strange. 
Morgan had asked, how do you keep track of all the expenses you have? Do you stick pretty strict to a budget? Nope. So uh, we pay ourselves uh, each a budget. We pay ourselves exactly the same each month, which isn't super fair. She should get paid more, but I control the budget. I don't spend money. She Mine... doesn't spend money and I do. So <laughs> Mine just sits in an account. Yeah, she stockpiles her. So, and then literally everything else we have comes out of our main budget. As far as tracking business expenses, uh, Trello. Yep, Trello. We use Trello other than for expenses for stores that keep track of it. Newegg keeps 10 years worth of transactions. Best Buy keeps six or seven, even, and especially if you set your phone number up, like your uh, rewards for you in the US, if you use Best Buy and then you enter your phone number in the store, it will add that purchase to your online profile so you don't have to keep handwritten receipts. It does all, it shows all the tax and everything for you. But that's pretty much it. Trello. I keep different sections for like what the expense is. Like, was it was it an audio video? Was it a hardware? Was it a computer? Was it an office supply? Was it furniture? Was it, you know, whatever it is. Trello is is bang on. And then I literally slap it into an Excel sheet with in or out, the name of it on the left, brief description of every single item on the page. Old school. Old school. Old school. Because my accountant doesn't even know how to print an Excel document. She's a sweetheart. She's we got a our... very older lady, but she is very awesome at what she does. Yeah, she's an older British lady. We had our our last accountant. She unfortunately retired because her husband passed away. So we've got a new accountant uh, as of last yeah. year. She's a sweetheart. She's just a little behind. Somebody said that's BS. That's BS. I can't remember. I don't what, know what you're talking about. I can't remember the context. Oh, the the billionaires and the not paying social security. Yeah. And it's, that, that, it's, uh, who was the who was the one billionaire that I was talking about that that did it? Was it um one of the biggest ones? Rockefeller? Yeah, uh No. No. Uh, it was another one of the it that? was like one of the world's richest men. He had been claiming social security since he was allowed to do it and he paid a per, uh, like a per, 1% of 1% of his income actually <laughs> yeah. was taxed, but he claimed it every month. <laughs> you want What a jerk. Do you want to grab the wolves out of the chat? I, I will here in a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're just trying. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to let it go until the till the end. We'll do it literally right at the end. Okay. The fart part. The fart Tell part. Tell the fart part. Oh, man. All the fart comments. Man. Are we the fart people now? I think we are. You're the Etsy, Etsy gurus. gurus. You won't become irrelevant to Etsy sellers. <laughs> we will if Etsy becomes irrelevant. That's true. Hey. We're working on countermeasures for that, too, just as an FYI. So here's a little thing. Nothing negative in this stream. No, nothing negative. Um, I am planning on... I will always be Etsy. Let's just... any Anything contrary to that, you can snuff it out. I will always be Etsy. But yes. I am going to start adding in alternatives and mentioning alternatives in my teaching um, just because so many people are asking me to. And this week on Tuesday, I will be in a meeting with the CEO of uh, Go Imagine. So mm -hmm. just to just to talk. We don't have any plans, but none whatsoever. Just to talk. You know, he knows me. He already he's already familiar We're with talking me. with the CEO, not a customer support person. Yeah. So they already know who we are. Yeah. So that's going to be fun. We're just going to see like what what. Can... Also, just in case there's any, I, I don't want an, an, that to be interpreted as the the data that we just got was bad because we just had no. a bunch of people submit. That is not the case, actually. And I cannot speak on any details yet because we need to analyze further. We have to continue analyzing. We were able to get through about a hundred of the three hundred emails because spoiler alert, I'm an analyst and I was scrutinizing every single shop that was sent to us under a microscope. Couple of small takeaways I can, at least as of right now, speculating, huge speculation here. Things aren't as bad on Etsy as people are making it out to be. Of those, I'm not going to use any exact numbers. As of right now, as far as we can tell, a majority, not a majority, a huge portion of the shops that were getting shut down for no reason had violated a policy. Big, small, doesn't matter. What it appears to be there and there are people who are being wrongfully terminated. I want to make that loud and clear. I don't think it's as many as people are making it out to be. What it appears to me is that an automated system is being used speculation to 
go through these Etsy shops and there is no wiggle room. So it it feels like if a rule is even the smallest rule that feels inconsequential is being broken, it's resulting in an instantaneous termination. And while that may not sound fair, we got to talking about it the other day, and at least my opinion, it's about as fair as it can be because there's no room left open for human error, except it is having errors because it is wrongfully terminating shops. However, uh, I mean, of, I can say at least less than half of the shops that contacted us that we were able to find information for, excluding people who we couldn't find anything for, were doing something wrong. Whether that be submitting information incorrectly, lying about a location, probably using a VPN, uh, all kinds of stuff. There were a lot that we could prove that they there, were there were a, at least I would say at least 10 to 15 percent of them were people who were blatantly breaking rules and that was a little insulting but the the positive takeaway from this is if you're actually following the rules as they're working on this system there isn't as much to worry about as you think so I hope that I hope that you can take that as some good news there is still the possibility that something can happen and the shops getting deactivated right when they start. We didn't really have a lot of people message us with those. There were a few. Um, that probably still happens, but it kind of appears that it's not as bad as it as it used to be. And I think this is another one of those, somebody was saying YouTube, I do think it is another one of these cases of people taking information and the angriest voice is the loudest. And it's something to talk about. It is still happening. Undeniably, 100%, unequivocally, unarguably, it is happening. Shops are being shut down when they're not doing anything. However, as of right now, and I still have another like 250 emails to the to, to or shops to fully analyze, it's not as big as it as it seems. Now, Prayers and Ponytails said, what about the claims that Etsy's allowing Chinese companies to sell now? So get rid of the word companies. Get rid of the word companies. That's not what's happening. But they have opened the market to sellers in china yes i don't have any more information than that I, however i can say without divulging any details that it is a terrible idea because there are other places other than china in the world that have huge problems with mass distribution we found lots of them and unfortunately several of them contacted us so now i have kind of proof but again I can't really talk about it, unfortunately. He just bought something from one. Yep, I sure did, and I reported him straight to Etsy. Okay, anyway, anyway, let's get our let's shirts. Go ahead and, let's go ahead and get the shirts. I just wanted to give everybody... I, I, take that as good news, please. Yes, yes. As, as, as speculation goes, it's not as bad on Etsy as it appears. Hopefully, as I go through the data, I will not be able to give you exact numbers. I think a lot of this information was told to us in confidence, um, we didn't expect it to become a study. This was not intended to be a study. This was, uh, first and foremost, again, making things clear, was not an attempt to just give a bunch of people their shops back. Obviously, we hope that that happens, but that's not the goal here. The goal is to get Etsy to pay attention to the audience. And the one fix that we recommended to Etsy that would change most of the complaints on the internet is just, and we can tell you guys this, we told Etsy this, we want them to just say what you did. Now, there is some, we were talking with Anthony Wolf. There's legal implication there. If they say you broke a rule, you end up not breaking that rule. Suable offense. However, if they were to not say you did this thing and just say, we think you broke this section of our rules, it would eliminate a lot of that, a lot of that doubt. That is, that is my main demand from Etsy is just to say, this is why. Because a lot of people legitimately were breaking rules, small rules, but rules nonetheless, and they weren't given a second chance, which is, you know, argument here and there. But if an AI is going to do this, it needs to be perfect every time. That way, everyone is treated equally across the board and there's no room for human error. I am all for that. And that seems to be kind of what's happening. So anyway, let's moving on do some shirts. Let's do some shirts. Let's do some shirts. How many shirts do you want to do? There are at most for the internationals. there will be 30 bucks a pop. Um, it's fine. It's a business deduction, darling. Oh, I know. I'm just letting you know. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. I'm doing a random pick, one through ten. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Don't now. Five. 
five? Wait. Oh, five shirts? Yeah, I put the numbers one through ten in the random picker, and result number one was five. Oh, I thought we were going to do ten shirts. And it is. Is that what you Ten wanted? was our fifth place result. You want to do shirts. Ten, ten shirts? Ten shirts? Ten shirts. We want to do ten shirts? I mean, most like upwards of 300 bucks. That's not too bad. No, that's fine. You want to do that? We can do you guys want to do 10 shirts? 10 shirts. 300 bucks ain't that bad. Okay, let's do it. Okay, and I'll do it. Let's throw that money around. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> no, there's 100. Thanks for the deduction, y'all. Thanks for the deduction. No, this is a this is a giveaway. It doesn't quite count that like that. All right. MySpace was amazing. MySpace that's, was amazing. That's, that's thank how God I my old my, thank God my old MySpace isn't available for everyone to. Oh yeah, God, mine's still out there. There too. were pictures of the the parts on there. You did put your parts on MySpace, didn't you? What Way a... before you and I were together. Yeah. So you were like a little boy. That's even worse. That's awful. That's terrible. What if they're still out there somewhere? Man, there's so many that are down here. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna go down to like here. Okay. And I'll just have to pick. Somebody had said something. You, what? Somebody saw something. Are you guys at LLC or Escort? We are sole proprietors, sweetie. We are sole proprietors. We, we won't be forever. But right now we are. Unfortunately, when you run a business that doesn't have a use for assets to stay in, being a, anything other than a sole proprietor just means that you don't get most of your money. Yeah. Our accountant has talked it over with us. Yeah, and we're, she... go we're going over different... Uh, different options. Avenues. We don't sell a physical product. There's not a lot. Okay. Okay. It's not giving me names. This didn't work. Some of the, yeah, they are. Just do the yeah, ones well, that have names attached. Do the ones that have. I'm going to try to find a different random picker. No, nah, just do the ones that have names attached. Because this is not, this will be hard. See what I mean? Yeah, this is even worse. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it OG style. That's, no, that's, that's fine. It's fine. I no, it's not. I don't like it. I don't care what you think. Oh, my goodness, Mr. No, Moore. because there, it's not It's not fair. I'm going to do it the old way. You're just gonna We're going to do it the old way. The old way. The old way. That is that offensive? No. Okay. No, I don't think so. All right. Three lilies crochet. I'm going to start typing these into a list in Facebook for you. Thank you. Three lilies crochet. Or shoot. Email me at Starla at sign handmade alpha a l p h a academy dot com and we'll put it in the chat here in a minute and I need your address and your t shirt. Do not post it here, please. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't post it in the in the chat. Email email me. Email me and I'll get back with you by Monday. I got a busy weekend ahead. All right. Okay. A couple more from the top, and then I'll do the middle, then the bottom. All right. All right. Oh, Alpha. Hosanna. Hos Hosanna. Is that, is that their name? Yes. Hey. Right. They're out getting ice cream. Oh, are they? They are. Hosanna, are you still here? Are you around? Um. They said they would be back after they got ice cream. Oh. I saw your comment. She's She's been in the hospital. Oh, poor thing. What's wrong she's with a, you? She's one of our students. Um. Well, I don't know if, I, if they want me to disclose what's wrong with them, no, but... I'm just right. talking. All right, next one, uh, Crystal's Sundara Morthy. So I butchered that. I love you anyway. So, Crystal Sun. S U N D A R A M O O R T H Y. Chris Sundara Muthi. Crystal, send me your info. What's no, Crystal Sundara Muthi? Crystal Sun. Oh man, we can't. We can't do. We can barely do first names. We can't do last names too. All right, there's three. Let's see what you got now. So suspenseful. Can we speed it up though? I gotta pee. Shut your <laughs> mouth. I gotta pee. I gotta pee pee. Why is it that our viewership bumped up when we started doing the giveaway? Always does. Craft e mom. E oh. Craft e h mom. Craft e mom. Four. E. I'm assuming it's e. Craft e. Uh, heart work by Leslie. Heart work by Leslie. I'm literally just scrolling up and down, clicking and dragging, and the one that gets chosen first is the one. Yeah. All right, get some more from the choice. bottom. No, the I'm lift. doing. I'm doing from the middle now. Okay. Sandy, just says Sandy. You posted Aww. one wolf. Sandy, if your screen name is just Sandy, 
that was you. Sandy with one wolf, just a Sandy. You're the only one, Sandy two, three, in four, here. Five, six. Okay, I can start doing towards the bottom, me boy. Spider silk. Spider silk. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Towards the bottom now. I already got you once. This is the bottom, dingling. Oh, you are on the bottom. Yes. Dingling. Do you guys call your spouses dingling? Amanda West. Amanda's You've getting new knees. You've been talking this whole time. Amanda's getting new knees. Hope they're the bee's knees. Eight. Amanda, I hope you're still here. I have picked the same person three times now. I'll let you pronounce that. Aisha. Aisha Skinnas. Skins. Skinsas. Skinsas. Aisha skins. It's one word. One one all together. Aisha skins. And our last one. Let's get one towards this like actual whichever one's the closest here. The What's bottom. The closest one. Daisha Arthur. Daisha. 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 I am really Kia bad at pronouncing names. I promise I'm not doing it on purpose. Is that everybody? That is. That is everyone. Pop my email address into the chat for them. I sure will. I also need to check, make sure they're behaving. I need your shirt size and your mailing address. If you won, shirt size. Oh, no, the camera froze. Shirt size. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, mailing address and your YouTube username. Please. Yes, and your YouTube username. Let me know. Let me know who you are. Um, Starla at handmadealphaacademy.com. Thank you all for hanging out. We appreciate you all so, so, so very much. For those who won shirts, I'll get back to you by Monday. Um, it's going to take me a while to get through all these shirts, and we've got a busy weekend. But we appreciate everybody for hanging out. Just make sure you drop me an email with your address by Monday and put something about shirt winner on in your subject line yes, shirt please. giveaway don't just reply to one of my previous emails because i probably won't see that yes um, you have until this bean starts next week yeah yeah after that i won't be accepting anymore all right oh my god your stomach is growling i'm so hungry all right we love you guys sorry the video decided to pause at the worst possible moment we're replacing that thing but we, we will see you. you next tuesday for the next video and we will see you next friday for the next bean. Goodbye. Bye. Slow fade away. <laughs> <laughs>